Hello again, this is Horatio from Blackstaff. For the second part of our project Impreza Wagon SDI Swap, we will uh, review and uh, make the necessary repairs to the parts that we took uh, from the uh, JDM uh, STI. So, uh, our parts look uh, very well. You can see that uh, the real axle has no rust, also the suspension is in good condition. We have uh, some uh, problems uh, with the bushing for the gearbox selector, so we will replace them. The front axle also is in very good condition and the suspension also. And for the engine, we have uh, small uh, oil leaks uh, from this banjo banjo bolt uh, that uh, provides oil for the the VCS uh, system for the left side. So we will uh, replace uh, what is necessary for. Stopping that leak, we'll do the timing and uh, change uh, the water pump and remove the air uh, manifold in order to have access to all the ho hoses and change them if it's necessary. <sighs> the turbo looks very good. The shaft, I don't know if you can see, but it works very well. The engine is uh, almost clean, no oil leaks from the from these covers, it's clean. And I guess we have a minimum work to, to do for uh, getting this in the perfect shape. So this is our STI or what what's left from our STI So we stripped down our engine to have a better view about its shape. We took down the intake manifold and the timing covers and uh, uh, belts belt. Here we have the manifold. And uh, we managed to uh, make a list with uh, some uh, gaskets and uh, hoses that we need to replace. That's our list. Okay. We have some uh, oil leaks from the AVCS 
here from this gasket and uh, uh, from uh, the banjo bolts here and there the same situation for the right side you can see the leaks and also we have some um, cracked uh, hoses like this one it's broken but the rest of the engine is in good shape and we have to do only a only a cleanup okay uh, the water pump we will replace the water pump we have some oil here and uh, on the oil cooler okay so let's clean up this engine and see how it looks after for cleaning the engine we will use an industrial grease remover we will apply on um, dirty surfaces and after that uh, we will uh, use uh, clean water and uh, to avoid the, the water to get into the engine and uh, uh, its components we will use uh, power tape to mask all the hoses and uh, also we will try to avoid applying uh, the grease remover to electrical uh, connectors This is our shiny engine, it looks like new. And a lot of pieces. We have diagrams with uh, tightening torques the intake manifold was uh, cleaned also and we did some job to the harness we changed some connectors this intake hose that had a hole and also some uh, cracked hoses and We'll change all the gaskets, the manifold gaskets, the intercooler gaskets, these are the old gaskets, the throttle body gasket, there is the blow of valve that that saw big pressures in uh, its life we will change it also the timing kit old timing pulleys
the new kit with the water pump gasket spark plugs the oil pan everything is clean with new gaskets so everything on uh, these tables will go onto the engine uh, block the plastic covers from the timing the old belt the coil packs we have also the gaskets from the uh, variable valve uh, timing system and uh, the seals uh, for uh, the banjo bolts and let's put these parts on the end That's all for the second part of our journey. Um, we managed to put uh, together all the parts uh, for the engine. We have the transmission ready, the suspension, the brakes, so we can uh, make the final assembly. Uh, in the third part of our uh, story, we will uh, uh, put these parts uh, on the wagon and uh, also we'll do the wiring for the AVCS system. So stay tuned for more black stuff. <music>